everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some more DVD pickups to share with you guys. And in this video, surprisingly for once in a very long time, I do have a bunch of DVDs to share, but I also do have some Blu-rays and some Laserdiscs as well. So I'll start out with the two Laserdiscs that I got. I got these both at, of all places, Dollarama. Uh, every so often they do have uh, some movies that kind of interest me there. Uh, not to say that this first movie here is anything that I really liked in particular, but it did have its moments that were really obscene, so I thought, why not get it for $3? It's Bruno. It's the uh, Sasha Baron Cohen movie where he plays, like, a German tabloid show host. It's just, it's over the top. Actually, I don't even remember if it's supposed to be German or Austrian or whatever but if you've seen Borat this here Bruno is about another 100% crazier than uh, Borat ever was and that was just uh, three dollars uh, also from Dollarama I got for three dollars uh, this pack here it comes with two movies it has both Hostel and Hostel part two uh, now I don't remember much about the second one but the first one was definitely uh, Painful to watch at moments, but overall, pretty much just, uh, okay. Uh, these kinds of movies here, the Hostel movies, are just torture porn movies. And starting in the mid-2000s, that's when torture porn sort of, uh, hit its stride and started becoming more and more common. Uh, but the first one, at least, was somewhat enjoyable for what it is. Now, the second one, again, I just... I remember very little about it, so I can't say much. Moving on to the first DVD that I'm going to show you guys. I got this at a Value Village uh, for... It was either $2.99 or $3.99. I honestly can't remember now because it's been some time since I got this. It's an anime called Great Teacher Onizuka. And this one here uh, features episodes 1 through 4. So just the first 4 episodes. Uh, I've been told many, many times that this is a great anime and that I should check it out, but I just, I haven't ever really gotten around to watching it, but hopefully now having it on DVD is reason enough to start watching it at least. Now the next set of movies that I want to show you guys, I got from one yard sale. I recently went uh, just a couple blocks from where I live. They were doing a massive neighborhood sale, and there were about eight blocks of uh, houses where they were just doing uh, yard sales. Now, not everybody in that area was doing a yard sale, but at least every mm, every two to three houses, it seemed like somebody was doing a sale. Uh, the sale was supposed to be on a Saturday, but it got rained out sort of halfway through. So some people uh, managed to sell some things while others were setting up just as it started to rain. Uh, so they postponed it for the most part until Sunday, the next day after. And I went and I got these DVDs uh, from one person. Now he said he was a collector and uh, he bought all these uh, first hand he didn't buy them used from anywhere and there's some pretty decent movies uh, now I also bought one action figure as well as uh, these movies here I paid a total of ten dollars for everything the action figure was marked for three dollars so you can say three dollars for that and then seven dollars for these five movies first one here is Fritz Lang's Metropolis now, I've tried many times in the past to see this movie, but every time I get to like about the first 20 minutes and then I sort of just give up on it. But I think sometime soon I really have to seriously try putting some time into that. Uh, now, the next movie here is the collector's edition of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Another movie that I have seen just parts of and I've tried to see the whole thing in the past, but just sometimes I get distracted or something else comes up and I just never get around to finishing a movie and 
I should really stop doing that and just sit down and enjoy some of these movies fully. Now the next movie is a movie that I have actually seen, uh, but I have not seen the whole movie in a little while now. Uh, it's Rosemary's Baby, and this one here is just the widescreen edition. I don't think there's anything else special about this, uh, but that one that was just marked for a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, next movie here also was marked for a dollar is Return of the Living Dead. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the one that had like the sludge zombie thing in the vat and uh, there was a lot of really bad uh, makeup, makeup effects and there might have also been the uh, naked punk girl uh, dancing in the acid rain naked or I think I said naked twice there but I think that's this movie but I don't entirely remember and now if anybody out there can uh, Clarify that for me, just let me know in the comment section below, but again, that's Return of the Living Dead. And the last DVD that I bought from this guy, um, definitely one of Quentin Tarantino's movies that I have not seen in its entirety, and uh, I thought this set was at least a pretty nice one. Uh, I have seen a lot of Quentin Tarantino's movies, and I do own a lot of them. This one here, though, just didn't really... Um, didn't really uh, come along at a time for me to sort of uh, really want to see it, but I am going to try to see it this time around. It's Jackie Brown, and this is the collector's edition uh, featuring this sort of... Um, it's, it's a pretty nice case, and you got a little uh, hole there where the gunshot is, and uh, the main character's face sort of just lines up perfectly with it. And inside, there is a little sort of a pamphlet that has some um, information about the movie and the different scenes and it also has this like black exploitation themed uh, movie po uh, movie poster in there as well that's uh, pretty nice and then uh, two other uh, movie posters as well uh, featuring Pam Greer and uh, Robert uh, Forster I think that's what that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry, I'm, I'm just getting a little distracted there. But it's a pretty nice version of this uh, movie. And uh, this guy was telling me how uh, he bought these all uh, brand new when they came out. And pretty much looking through them, I did find a couple of receipts for the original uh, purchase of these from HMV and a couple of different stores. And a lot of these he ended up spending about $30 for them back when they were brand new which is kind of steep to think about it these days. But again, there are still uh, movie releases that do cost $30 or more. Uh, just crazy to think because it's been some time since I bought a movie brand new. I think it's going on maybe eight years now since I bought a, a brand new release. Uh, now the last three items I want to show you guys are some laser discs. Uh, I have had videos in the past where I've uh, focused heavily on Laserdisc. Uh, this time around, it's been uh, a little while since they, well, I'm saying they, I, I should have explained first of all, that I got these at BMV uh, like I have with all my previous Laserdisc uh, acquisitions. They haven't had much new stock in the last few weeks. So now I'm just sort of going over everything again and uh, making a couple more uh, selections from what they have. Uh, first movie here is Batman and Robin. Of course, it's the more campier, sort of terrible Batman movie of the 90s with the uh, really bad bat suit and just terrible everything. But they had this and also Batman Forever, I believe it was the one with uh, Two Face and the Riddler. Uh, so, if they still have that, uh, next time I go to the store, I might grab it. But I grabbed this one here for $3.99, and it is a double uh, disc uh, version of it as well. Uh, next movie that I got, don't really know much about this, but I saw Liza Minnelli and Robert De Niro, and it's a Ro sorry, a Robert. Robert Chardoff Erwin Winkler production 
and it's a Martin Scorsese film called uh, New York, New York. I'm assuming that it's a musical of some kind, considering that Liza Minnelli is in it, and uh, I, I think I vaguely might assume that it is uh, what I think it might be, but I'm not too certain about that. If anybody can give me more information about uh, New York, New York in the comment section below, I'd uh, really appreciate that. And it is a larger box set. I uh, don't really come across many uh, laser discs like these. Uh, but this one here is pretty nice. It has a little uh, insert here with some uh, screenshots on it as well. And it has some more information about the movie in there. And the movie itself is spread across three discs. I think is uh, five sides of the discs. But it is three discs in total. So I'm assuming it's a very... Uh, actually, no, it's four discs. That's actually uh, kind of strange. I wonder if they're all in the uh, format where you can... Uh, watch it frame by frame rather than just uh, uh, like the standard release. Uh, either way, just kind of a strange thing and that was $3.99 there. Sorry for spending so much time on that. Uh, now the last Laserdisc and the last item, last item that I want to show you guys in this video uh, is a Laserdisc of something that I remembered watching as a kid but I didn't really remember this until the second that I saw uh, this uh, cover, like the cover to this case. I honestly can't believe that I even forgot this, but it's amazing to think of all the stuff from your past that you just you can't recall anymore uh, until you get some kind of a cue uh, to remind yourself about it. Uh, what this is, is a collection of, I think, the first few episodes, or maybe all the episodes uh, of this show, is 3 hours and 55 minutes in total. It is Family Dog. This is a sort of joint uh, creation uh, between, I think it was uh, Steven Spielberg and uh, Tim Burton. It's based on uh, designs by Tim Burton. Uh, if you see the dog there alone, uh, it's very sort of Tim Burton-esque when it comes to uh, his depictions of dogs. They all pretty much have the same sort of uh, snout situation going on with the sort of floating nose at the end. Uh, it's pretty funny. I only ended up watching the first episode in here so far, uh, but it was uh, very enjoyable and definitely uh, reminded me uh, of the show and watching it when I was a kid, of course. And uh, this set here was priced at $9.99. And uh, inside, I think it's on three, yeah, three laser discs in total, all in CLV format, if I remember correctly. And um, actually, it's just printed on uh, five sides, so the sixth side, so the second side of the third disc has nothing. Uh, no information at all printed on it. Uh, but I was uh, very happy to sort of see this and be reminded of my past. It's not often these days that uh, I come across stuff like this, but I really wish that I would find stuff like this uh, more often, especially from uh, shows and things that I watched as a kid. I'm still trying to recall so many movies and TV shows from my childhood but I'm having a very hard time sort of piecing things together uh, most of the time. But that's it. A pretty decent set of stuff uh, throughout this video that I showed off. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all. And I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like. And that's it. See ya.